hello, hello. It's Kitty with Declutter the Brain coming to you live or um, uh, or you may be watching on the replay on LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, or YouTube. And we'll talk more about YouTube in a little bit. Coming to you on what is kind of a gray and uninspiring day in Atlanta, Canada. But, hey, with any luck, the sun will shine tomorrow. And don't forget, if you're, if you're feeling a little gray and cloudy, It'll get better. Trust me on this. All right. Sorry, I am a little bit off kilter right now. And I'll share a little story about why, if you don't mind. Uh, it, it might help you. I uh, know as, as a uh, card-carrying, flag-waving, foot-stomping ADHDer, I, I thrive on structure. All right, we kind of, we tend to need a little bit more structure to just kind of keep us on the straight and narrow. And so we show up on time for things, stuff like that, like this video. And I'll tell you what, I have a routine before I, before I press the go button um, to record here. And I watch a certain, a certain one of my mentors. Well, this morning I thought I'm going to try something different. Bad. Hello, thank you for joining. Not a good idea to change, to change. I'm glad that I watched one this this other mentor, but what did it do? Her video went longer than the other person's, than the person I normally watch, and my timing went off. Good morning, Pam. <laughs> yes, my timing went off, so I'm late. So where do, what is the takeaway today? Whenever possible. Um, to so that you can always be on time for everything just make sure that you you stick as closely as possible to your structure and we're going to be talking more about that this week um quickly quickly pam i did get your email about the hi michael uh, i did get your email about the financial spreadsheet and i will be taking that to you ladies and gentlemen that is uh, if you're wondering what um, what we're talking about we did do a series on finances a couple of weeks ago feel free to scroll back or direct message me um as to where to find that we had some i believe good things in there all right who am i kitty DeclutterTheBrain.com, Kitty Andrews, that is. And what do I do? Oh, yes, I am your thought. I do. Um, put in the comments below, do you prefer thought organization strategist or thought organizer? Either way, I'm also called your decluttering wizard. Thought, organizer, thought organization strategist or your thought organizer? Put one or put one or two in the comments below. I'd really appreciate it. That is the question I meant to ask in our group mastermind yesterday. Yes, our clients get to we get to um, commune every couple every couple of weeks, so that we can share our decluttering stories, our our backslides, our triumphs, and we had quite a few triumphs. That is the question that I was uh, trying to think of yesterday. So what do I do? I do help coaches, consultants, uh, entrepreneurs, and would-be entrepreneurs, uh, soon-to-be entrepreneurs, clear their physical and mental clutter so that they can focus, that being the operative word, on making more money in their business and or creating an amazing life for themselves and their families. I believe I have 20 years under my belt experience of 20 years experience <laughs> with helping people gain control over their surroundings and I through this I've developed a step-by-step -step one system which um, has helped me and my clients go from broke and overwhelmed to organized focused and well off mm -hmm. uh, so how would it help you to uh, conquer your clutter would you feel more would, would you would you would you be more productive? Would you get more shiitake done? Huh? All right, if you answered yes to that, you hold tight till the end, until the end of this short video and we will give you your next steps to take. Mm. Uh, all righty then, uh, what do we, I just wanna make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay, so this week we are talking about decluttering your stress level. 
and of course a little bit of stress is, is good. Uh, that's what gets the adrenaline going, the heart pumping, but bad stress is not good and uh, certainly detrimental to your health and I, sometimes life events can happen that can really throw you off kilter and escalate your, your stress level. Now, of course, the older we get, most of, most of my, the people in my orbit are 40 and over, and uh, we are going to experience, the odds are of us experiencing stressful events, the older we get rises exponentially, doesn't it? So this week is about um, easy with their um, tips to cope with with these things now yesterday I forgot something <laughs> hey it was Monday what can I say uh, I, I talked yesterday about get it make sure you get enough sleep even if you don't uh, if for some reason like me you can't get get to bed early enough and get a good night's sleep at night uh, due to your schedule, if you can, have naps during the day or a nap um, and just make sure that you're getting close to your eight hours. I've been surviving the last three weeks doing, doing this. Uh, the naps have been a little bit longer than I'd like, but hey, uh, doubles my productivity during the day so you, you your body just can't function when it, when it's in drag butt mode and not only that but your body and your brain need to uh, process all of this extra stuff that's going through your mind uh, your loved ones in hospital you're worried your mind is processing this do I have to go bring them something is the doctor gonna, going to phone anything like that um, and you can insert your own stressful event here okay but your brain don't forget your poor beleaguered brain is desperately trying to process all of this and it gets tired the poor little thing yes it does so you want to treat it well and um, give it some rest all right and of course your body suffers at the same time I know I am NOT feeling quite as energetic but how can you counteract that eat that was what I forgot yesterday eat properly um, Make sure that you're, um, yeah, I hate to say the V word, vegetables, yes. And another V word, vitamins, okay, vitamin B, I don't have them with me here. Vitamin B especially, and in winter, vitamin D, and drink your water, please. Now, I can also tell you, full disclosure, that it is really, hello, thank you for joining. It is really easy to forget these things. OMG, over the last couple of weeks, I found, especially last week, I found myself just totally forgetting to eat my kale. Yes, I eat kale. Um, I, I was forgetting my cherry tomatoes. I was forgetting my protein. Just, pew, totally forgetting. Once you catch yourself doing that, and it's a good odds that you will forget, all right? Just reel back into it, reel back into the good food, uh, double down on it, eat double, eat double your good food if you need to take, um, take extra vitamins, anything you need to get back on track. Really, really important what you put in your body. So, so far we've got sleep, we've got eat. Today, daily structure. What was I talking about at the very, very beginning of the video? All right, uh, title of today is Rise If Not Shine. Now, what do I mean by that? I'm going to tell you. <laughs> uh, when, when an event strikes or you become, knock on wood, um, ill yourself, anything like this, it is really, really tempting to hit that snooze button. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, my alarm goes off at 10 after 5 in the morning. And, oh... I just thought, oh God, no, I really, really want some more sleep now, but I don't succumb to that. What I do is I say, go through your first two hours and then go have a nap because I know darn well from experience that if I have go back to sleep, my, my brain is going to be disjointed like, okay, 
what are, what should I be doing right now? I'm I'm confused. All right, it's a it's partly an ADHD thing, but I think it applies to the other uh, what is it? Ninety five percent of the population. I really do. Keep your daily structure, and it really will serve you. Do the exact same. Do as close as you can the same thing at the same time every day. Get up at the same time. Go to bed at the same time hit your coffee coffee maker button roughly the same time and if you can uh, have have um, have your friend I'm gonna throw this in here I didn't put this in the script <laughs> don't you love it <laughs> love it <laughs> I just throw things in there uh, if you can have a structure for your food intake in other words the same breakfast every day not only does it make meal planning easier but it provides your brain that it's okay. It's Tuesday. I'm eating cornmeal. It's it's Monday. I'm eating refried meat. Whatever it is, okay. Um, it it provides that basic in your brain so that whatever else is happening around you, you've got some sort of comfort. I just came up with that. <laughs> it it um, and and it's not that I just came up with it, but it's uh, I wanted to add it because it really does structure does provide comfort, especially in troubling times. I invite you to try it and direct message me if you have any questions. If you you know, tell me if it works for you, what works for you, what doesn't. I am one of the most accessible coaches in the industry, and I want to hear from you. All right, so if you enjoyed this video, if you think that it could uh, provide value to someone out there in the inter in in the interweb world who is maybe not feeling lemony fresh, oh God bless you! Thank you very much. Um, share this video. Just hit the share button. People have been doing it, and I'm I'm blessed and honored that they do because we do get people uh, that I've never you know, somebody in the Philippines for heaven's sake. Yes, she caught my video and he, now, now she's a Declutter the Brain group member and yeah, uh, you just never know who needs a hand out there and you are the one to give it. Yes, you. I'm looking at you. <laughs> All right, and what else? I just want to make sure that I'm not missing. Wait till you get old. You're going to need notes too. Uh, YouTube. Um, if you want to see a video, uh, what? if you want to check out what other topics I've covered, just go to YouTube, type in Declutter the Brain, and um, we are all there, cataloged, labeled, organized, numbered for your dining and dancing pleasure. If you dine and dance while you're watching videos, you might. I don't know. So, a couple of quick questions. Uh, how would it feel to 2x, 2, 2x your life without being distracted by your clutter? Hmm? Do you just want your clutter gone and your mental clarity back? Mental clarity is so important, ladies and gentlemen. Wouldn't you agree? Um, and finally, are you, and this is important, are you an action taker? Are you coachable? Uh, are, um, are you committed to clearing your space and organizing your thoughts so that you can make and keep more money and, yeah, okay, yeah create an amazing life? Okay, we're going to give you, uh, if you answered yes to those three questions, uh, let's give you your steps to take, shall we? All right. Number one, number one, get off that hamster wheel and join Declutter the Brain Facebook group. We've got the link down below in the in the notes. And uh, weekend warrior challenges with Friday workshops. Uh, Friday workshops. Come on, Just, uh, special guests. Anyway, click that link below. Come and join us. What is step number two? Step number two is to scroll down. Again, yeah, I'm getting giving your fingers a workout to download your seven easy steps to conquer your clutter and um, to conquer your clutter. And step number three, while you are there, just book, um, there's even a link down below for this, book your Conquer the Clutter call and I'll listen to hear what your, con what your clutter is actually costing you and it, you'll walk away with a plan that you will see immediate results. All right.
Sound fair? Okay, so remember, now that you have decided to eliminate your clutter and organize your, your mindset, book that call today. Don't wait and download the PDF. All right, see you tomorrow, 11 Eastern, uh, when we'll be talking about people first. Right, Michael? Who needs me? Bye for now. Thanks for watching.